Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Mankiz and his Chaos versus Binkit and his Norse. Um, so, um, in the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Hello everybody. So yeah, this is very interesting here from Binkit, he's done quite a bit of TV, a decent chunk of TV, and he is... Rather than inducing apples or wizards or anything, he's induced a Merc lineman and a Merc thrower with leader. Um, that is in the event. Yeah, that is bizarre. And yes, leader has to be on the field to do anything. So, and he's kept a lineman off. I like it. It's so weird, right? Because he's kept his edge four runner off and the thrower. So I guess he's saving those two for offense. But then if you're going to save those two, why not just put on your, your other two worst players and keep off, you know, your four... Like, why not put on those three and keep your four best players for the other half? It looks like he's basically giving up on the on the drive. Well, the, the, the setup more or less says, there you go, sir, you can score from the side of the pitch, please, no <laughs> harm me. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Which is interesting, because you would think you would just feel... You would then just save your four best players, not your one I best mean, player and three others. You are playing Norse. This is a strong Norse team. You have uh, plus strengths and uh, bombers and a fantastic jetty. Giving up the drive so easily. Mm, not very happy with that. Mm, it's interesting, isn't it? But he's got four players. So... Exactly. You have the bench. You have everything. You know, just go all in. Mm, interesting, isn't it? Interesting strategy. Because the chaos players are going to reach you anyway. Mm. I like that he's done something different though at least. He's not going for the palm hit. Well that is mental. <laughs> just for the chance of getting the three dice. Yeah, he could just put in two more assists and got three dice, but we'll palm him. Guess he's gonna foul him. This could leave the uh, Yeti exposed here. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Perfect target. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like any of this. He doesn't have a bribe, does he? He's just fouling the dirty player. Gets sent off. This is horrible. I mean, that was genuinely horrible. Like, if that's the Pommer, fair enough, but I just don't think you can afford to foul a shithead beast man. Like well, he has dirty player, that's alright, but Monkeys doesn't have any bribe, so yeah. Yeah, like, if you, if you foul in the Claw Pommer, sure. Or this Strength 4 guy. Or a warrior, but not not just a shithead beast man. That's a crazy foul, I think. And yeah, if he'd had a bribe. But he did not. So he's lost two players instantly. Well, three players, but two players permanently. And yeah, of course, the claw pom is coming in on the Yeti. And now the Chaos can base more or less everybody and guard lock them. Yep. Doesn't have to worry about a wizard. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I quite like the uh, quite like the animation there. And now you can pile on. Like if you hadn't made that foul, you could have fouled this. Like it's so obvious that your Yeti is getting pommed. <laughs> so if you just don't foul, then you've got your dirty player to foul him. So then he's probably not going to pile on, or at least he's going to think about it. And at least you get to like, at least you get to foul his best player. Real weird player. There. If you ask me. I don't want to say shit now, and wrong, but it was definitely shit and wrong. <laughs> one dies here for no specific reason, without <laughs> mighty blow or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he just didn't want to play. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to out a space cadet, a space cadet. <laughs> You know, a new way of playing a... What the hell? <laughs> Here comes the rookie foul. Okay, that makes more sense, but... The... That would have been a Kaz, by the way. If he'd saved yes, his dirty yes, player, that yes. would have been a Kaz. Don't want to say that the dirty player foul was terrible, but it was terrible. <laughs> this is... This is... Whew. Whew. I wonder if Mankis might tilt a little bit after this happening. Mm. 
I don't well, know. It's a problem, but uh, nothing dire. No, it's not dire, but I, I don't know if Mankis is a tilt or not. Uh, but if he is, that might have frustrated him a bit. At the, uh, this being played so badly, <laughs> yet yeah, getting some results. But now the Yeti is up. I will be getting two dice because you can't stop him getting two dice. Now comes. It's going to be a Yeti Blitz. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no. I should have let stand firm there. I just let him move the, the Chaos Warrior. So the Yeti has to move. And it's easy to hit next turn. Oh, he's just fouling without dirty player or bribes. <laughs> Gets a kill and, um, and sent off. Uh, sent off. So yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm baffled. <laughs> I'm baffled at this. If you're gonna foul this much, why not just get a bribe instead of this bloody uh, throw? I don't know. I hate gnomes. I remember the first time I saw the Norse uh, team because back in Spain we had the second edition of Blood Bowl and uh, yeah, that, uh, the zone, in real life. the cards and all that, but that was it. And Lizardmen, Norse and Amazons came after that. But we couldn't get any of that because we didn't need the magazines or anything. And I remember watching them, I think this, this team this is all about this great. Look at these are men here with, you know, plus strength four. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's Ming Max teams destroy the purity of the game. <laughs> Norse, everybody with block. <laughs> yeah. They are weird, aren't they, Norse? Like, like it's, it's, but when they first came out, they were worse because everyone was the, exactly the same. Like now, now they've got the Ulfs and the Yeti. It's a bit more interesting, but they're weird because, like, obviously all the block is super powerful, but then they're just so bad long term. It's like they are not the same for the long term. Short leagues, tournaments maybe, but other than that, they just die. It's so weird as well that he set up like so kind of like you know not trying to stop the score and, and like you know kind of defend his players and then he's just gone totally balls to the wall basing everybody but with no hope of stopping the touchdown. <laughs> Instead of going from the up down he says no I'm going from the left to the right. <laughs> yeah, this is so weird. Maybe he thought the touchdown like line was here. <laughs> I just, I just uh, trusted the uh, monkeys to roll city dice, and there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really weird. <laughs> Hello, fan facts. Oh, here we go. Another Kyo. This is looking pretty much how you would have expected it going, isn't it? Really, loads of removals. And uh, added with a couple, like getting sent off two or three times is unlucky, obviously, for the fouls, but. But that's what happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you, if you, if you go for the this fouling strap, that's going to happen, isn't it? A fair amount of the time. Sticking the reroll in for this foul. Fails. I assume he's going to foul anyway, the balls. Uh, yeah. Pretty safe. Barring the uh, 6 plus dodge. <laughs> 6 plus 4 plus to 2D the ball. <laughs> Nobody even reach anyway. Oh, Yeti Blitz. That was a reroll for the Yeti. Yes, the Yeti got a reroll there. Yeah, yeah. Rowdy Yeti players. Screeded it. <laughs> Here's the jump up. Oh look, Pylon! <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, it's pretty tragic for the Norse so far. Love to see it. <laughs> it's not that they deserve it any better, truth to be told. 
I'm going to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just <laughs> beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Just a jog that, of course. <laughs> Not real. <laughs> Uh, just a joke, like on Top Gear. Von Hilda! Von Hilda! I am so stuck on the monkey bench. hasn't caused any real damage to the Norse anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's one... Uh, uh, the Merc got cast and then two players got sent off, so like, I mean, he's kind of taken three cards, hasn't he? But obviously two were two were self inflicted. Two self inflicted, yes. <laughs> I mean, Here we go, Yeti. Can yeah, he's absolutely obsessed with the Yeti blitzes. Yeah, it's it's the only chance he's got really, isn't it? It's... Well but he has the pylon uh, player, you know, that's gonna be better chances of a cast. Yeah, true, like if you if you can pile on the uh, if you can pile on the beastman, yeah. <laughs> it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Yet he's going to get punched again. No. Yes. Pushed. Oh, yeah, he can anything happen? Oh, he can surf him. Look, he can. No, he can't. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could. He could have put a player in here, and he could have pushed him into there, into there, and then surf that guy. He's not trying though. Just gonna frenzy trap himself into a 2D. <laughs> trap into a power, sorry. That would have been an uphill, wouldn't it? Strengths 5, 6, and then 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that was a frenzy trap. Well, and Monkey's a uh, team name with honor to the results. Yeah, yeah, they haven't hurt anybody yet, really. Only the Norse hurt themselves, <laughs> as they usually do. <laughs> Wait, he chose a push. Oh, he's going for the. He's going for the surf. Okay, fair enough. Wow, the man kiss meat throttle. Controversial. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, fun fact, I just found it off the internet. I didn't. I didn't do it myself. <laughs> I just I just found it in desperation as a as a picture for finding. <laughs> uh. There you go, fish for goals with a tuddy. Another guy without orc cheerleaders. Unacceptable behaviour. There is no quality in the cap anymore. <laughs> What's next, chores without the blue heads? <laughs> yeah, shameful. <laughs> Well, that was a pretty good. That was a pretty good half for Binkit, wasn't it? That, that that's what he wanted. He's only taken one cars. Um, he got loads of fouls in, and he conceded a touchdown like he wanted to, apparently, from the way he set up. So, yeah, 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 all according to plan. Yeah. The leader player is saved, you know, which is the most important thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, just. Decide to self-inflict some uh, extra adversity on yourself, not having an extra roll. <laughs> now, do you leave off the leader in in case of rock, or do you put him on in case of riot? That's the question. He's on, on. He's on. Now you tell me he's going for the one tower. It's a it's a thrower, Wayne Farrow. <laughs> so that is how. <laughs> it's 150k for that guy. He could have literally been a wizard, but instead, he's a leader thrower. Man.
And let's not forget that an actual reroll cost a hundred gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. It's an interesting strategy. Wow. What? There you go. He got a cast. But he'd rolled a power, I don't know why he re-rolled that. Oh, because he was. Was he going for the one turn? I guess he was. This guy's only moved seven, but I guess he could have pushed him and then pushed him there and then sidestepped. And then pushed him. And then. I don't know. I think that was. So. Here comes another foul, and I think it's another mistake, even if it's a guard, the goat. You want to keep the dirty player for the second half. He just loves fouling this guy, Gwen. There you go. He did quite well with uh, Kemri a season or two back, so I guess he just likes fouling. Oh, and it's paid off massively! Oh. All the chaos, stay out! And now well, all of a sudden... Binky is getting the lucky equity here. <laughs> what a half he's had! <laughs> like, he's literally still got a bench. And Mankiz is down on like nine players. Wow. Absolutely incredible that everything has gone according to his plan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There is, you know, for for the uh, blue ball here, you know, like in the pitch at a completely different level. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the, the like the, the the setting up like this is a strategy I've done before, right? Uh, famously against, well, I say famously against Sage and Rebel. I just like I just hit at the back and like I, I had a more killy team than him, so like it was really stupid if he had, if he had gone into fight against me, it would have been really stupid. So he couldn't really go into fight against me. So he just he just ignored me and then and then I went in one nil down, and then uh, I was happy to draw one one and it ended up not working. But like that was okay. But so I can see the point. But like he didn't stick to his strategy. But I can see the point yeah. of like you know just get out of the half without losing minimal players, which he which he got. And, and also then, keep the yeah. players too close to the chaos team, so the chaos could just blitz, you know, or uh, tag uh, his players because they move six. Yeah. So he was in match. Behind, I say, okay, I get that, you know, uh, going on the total defense here, letting them score, getting your uh, couple of shots here and there, perfect. Mm. But it was like, nah, I regret that, I want Axiom, I want to roll dice. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird that he, like, yeah, he only half did it. If he'd fully did it, I think it would have made perfect sense. Here we go. He's got the he's got the foul on this. I mean, this is and now they have a, and now he has a bribe. So yeah. everything according to plan. Yeah, yeah. Now he's got the bribe. Yeah, incredible. You'll foul before the yeti hit, I imagine. Ah, oh. yeti hit first. <laughs> <laughs> he's got block. I guess it's fine. Doesn't stand firm. Ooh, I think I would have mistake. Yeah, I think I would have not stood. F oh, sorry, does stand firm. I would have not stood firm to get the hit back, even though it's a rookie beast man. Like it's easy to get two D on him, isn't it? Then maybe he's not. If you've only got eight players, which he might have now. Yep, he does. <laughs> Rough. Oh, oh, and it was. Rough. A, it, yep, it was a bloody minor strength. So he felt the, you know, he had to reroll it and then fail because of the shitty system of apples, which I hate. Everybody hates. Everybody that plays Blood Bowl hates how the apple works. <laughs> yeah. The people that don't play Blood Bowl say, hi, it's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Now he'll foul and get spotted, right? <laughs> he'll foul, get spotted, bribe, fail. That's, that's how I envision this going. <laughs> I can see it happening. I can see it happening. <laughs> no, just doesn't no. break heavy. Even more depressing, not bringing AB against the Norse. Yeah, so he gets to jump up into more blocks, and then uh, you can even chain him into the Yeti, maybe? No, probably that's too hard, but still. Oh. No, I'm sure he could have Yeti put that guy, that would have been better. 
Oh well, Kazim anyway. Oh well. Oh, well. <laughs> Didn't need claw to Kazim. Not a problem. God, this is an absolute norsing, isn't it? Mankiz is going to hit Norse as much as me after this. <laughs> Getting here, ready for the foul, covering all the spots. Is he going to move the ball before fouling? Ah, no. Who cares about the ball? <laughs> Leader throw is really paid off. <laughs> that thrower, that thrower was the. I mean, it kind of has. He's got a second reroll now because of it. Or overtime. Like his plan was playing for overtime, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Oh, it's still on the bench. So, okay. So, he's going to have three. All right. So, he's going to have three because of that. But yeah, it's, he's on the bench. Why isn't so Malik is just running away? It's a good question. I think it's just pure race right now for a monkey. No, I just see that he Until gets a couple of good turns, you know, the casualties, things will, will be okay, defend. but... Well, I don't see that happening. While. Not long till three years, Jimmy Jimmy. He only has one killer left. Yeah. It's brutal, isn't it? And also, he's good, you know he's going to foul you. Like, he's been fouling like a madman, and now he's got a bribe. So he's going to, you know, it's hard because if you run away, then this guy just gets fouled to death. But obviously, by not running away, he's getting pommed and he's getting claw mighted, so. And he's getting fouled as well, anyway. And thank you very much, Sledger, for staying fantastic for nearly three years. It has been a while. Great to see you again. Hello. And thank you very much. You know, nearly three years. Uh, more than a few beaver pregnancies. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over, over eight whoo, beaver pregnancies. Glorious. Thank you very much. Glorious. Yes, but the thing is, if you run away, then then you just leave the guys who are there to get fouled out, don't you? So, and also, but that was going to away, happen. Oi! Whereas if you fight back, you can do this. You know? There you go, beautiful. <laughs> so, and he takes the cast. Did he already use the apple? Yeah, he must have done. Oh yeah, yeah, he he did, he did. And he's got a dirty player of his own, so he gets a foul in here. This is the comeback. This is the monkey's comeback. No okay, oh. And now all of a sudden he's got to protect the ball a bit, hasn't he? And it's it's not as bad as getting teed off on, so he's getting a bit of value from not running away now, his man is. A bit of value, not a lot, but some. <laughs> Doesn't pile on. No. Oh, coward. <laughs> Absolute coward. Disgrace to the Norse nation. <laughs> but he you is don't reach Valhalla that way. <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to get a foul. I hate this, by the way. 4 plus 3 plus a 2 leader ball. There you go. Gets the Kaz. This guy had to go there first. Like, there was no reason to not move him there. Yeah, he goes there. Like, he had to go there or there first. It was crazy not moving that first. Monkey is uh, running out of options. Yep. And players. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the fact that he's still basing, you know, the Norse uh, players. Yeah, it's... It's desperation. I mean, like, the thing is, he's one nil up. Like, so you can kind of see the point that if you know something goes right, he might be able to score. He might be able to stop the score. And you know, like, if this had been a quad skull, <laughs> then he can hit the ball and he can maybe stop the score and win. Because it looks like if it goes to overtime, you're just going to lose, even if you receive, isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah, you will have stayed maybe you know a square away, basically without the. Uh... 
I mean, I think he is. Yeah, the killer is in contact of a uh, chaos warrior. So. If he got sent off there, it's just a four plus to two D the ball. Like it's it's very risky here from Vinkit, but and I guess that's I get that's I guess that's encouraging Mankis as well, right? By you know, there's been a, he's had a few almost chances here. Like it's still three two 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 D the ball, isn't it? Without tackle or anything, yeah. It's still two D the ball. At least. It's still two D the ball. I can see the point of, uh, I can see the uh, the appeal of not giving up here, because you you know by not giving up you might get a chance on the ball, and at one nil up you might get the winning on the time, because you really don't want overtime. When you've got when you've got what? How many players he's got? Three, four. He's got six. He's got nine max. This is a really bloody game, yeah. He's got nine max, and now he's made all these cars by fighting. That was his, uh, yeah, that, that's, that, that's the risk, you know, you risk your players with the chance of destroying the other players before they destroy you. Yeah. I mean, it's chaos after all, you know, you don't play chaos, sometimes you have to go with the madness. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, I can, sorry. I can understand you maybe monkeys uh, feeling, you know, the, the, uh, some degree of unfairness. He's uh, playing at a tactical level better than his opponent, but uh, he didn't get anything. So you keep pushing, pushing, and, you know, trying to recover your luck. Yeah. Get what you are owned by the game. <laughs> Oof. That was a rowdy reroll there, wasn't it? Rerolling the 1D, and now he's going to foul this guy. And gets another removal, but gets sent off. Oh, but he's got the, he's he's off, got the, the bribe. Brave. Here comes the bribe. He does love a foul. <laughs> Vega is fine here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, nothing like a proper psychopath uh, fighter <laughs> from uh, Spain, the version of Spain that the Capcom thought it was in 1992. <laughs> it's it's on the ball, look. See, this Sorry, is why, I, did, this really is why funny. I didn't lie down. This is why I didn't lie down. You just got 2D on the ball. Almost free. Fucking crazy. Where's the self? All right, not bad. That's okay. The scatter is nice. Yeah, I sure did necro potent. Because now uh, you know the Norse has a problem. They need to score. They need to reach, and now they have two turns. Yeah. What a thing. And they don't have a thrower. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. No, but they do have the uh, the edge for the sure hands. But can reach the Surhans uh, the score. No, it's gonna have to pass it. Like this turn. Ooh. It's the knockdown. And the pile, of course he does. Clears him, yep. Just lob it this turn. It's still just a three plus to two do the ball. Doesn't pass it. Doesn't oh, pass it. I, I was throwing the ball away. Yeah, I guess. Because it gives you an extra chance, doesn't it? That's the thing. Yep, he gets the three plus to two D the ball. Uh, to two, right, to two D the scoring threat. But he's a scoring threat as well, isn't he? So now now he's got to try and score on this guy. He's double based. 
It's pretty good. Whoa, double base. That's the, the ultimate uh, defensive action. Yeah. Oh my god, what's happening there? Is that a bleach? Wait, what's it? What? what? What happened in there? What's going on? Oh, this is a runner. He's moved seven. He's moved seven, this guy. And he's dauntless. So, <laughs> I thought he wasn't in range, but he's a runner. Oof. So, yeah, this is the best way to do it then, in fairness. Hey, Gets whoa. the GFIs in. No re rolls. If only there was a leader on the pitch. <laughs> He's done it! No need, no need because <laughs> Norse do these kind of things, you know, disgusting. <laughs> oh man. Points to monkeys to be able to force this uh, absolutely crazy situation for the Norse. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. The not lying down looks like the right player for sure now because that was nearly a successful defense with about three players left on the field. <laughs> <laughs> And he's got the ball in overtime, so he's got a chance. Oh no, no, he hasn't got the ball. This is turn 16. Sorry, but he's got another chance to get his KOs back. So four, yep. five, six, seven. So he might get nine for overtime. And the uh, and this is all the Norse are gonna have. Yeah, the Norse only have ten max. Yeah, the Norse have ten max, and the Chaos might have nine. Oh man. Oh. Rock to the leader. Rock to the leader. Come on. <laughs> Throw a rock to the leader. Yeah, I had myself for a moment there. He does have one reroll for overtime, Nectone, because now his brilliant inducement of the leader the leader thrower comes on and he gets an extra reroll for overtime. There you go, eh? Extra reroll. <laughs> yeah. Magic there, you know. Saving to the player to, for the whole game for that extra time. I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, no, I'm uh, the kind of guy that you get inducements, I use them, you know, in all the uh, capacity. Oh, <laughs> 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 El Jimmy Fantastico. It's Fimey, you should know him from JFW KLZD. Yep. <laughs> yep. Finally reached the armchair uh, coach level, you know, the maximum you can achieve in uh, Blood Bowl. <laughs> Just make comments about games without having to play. Finally, my master plan, the best thing. <laughs> That's what we've been doing for years now. Because I don't like the CCL format. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, he gets sent off. Oh, the apple, oh. the bribe actually works. Unbelievable. All right, big so we still have a game here. We still have a game. Maybe. Yep, nine, nine versus ten. Who's going to win the toss? The Norse win the toss. Oh, baby. Why I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's a hell of a game, isn't it? It's incredible. So much stuff going, so much proper Norse kind of player stuff, you know, like uh, with no due respect to the person, but there's been a, more than a few controversial plays, we call them. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. No blitzes yet, Dr. Mahabosco. <laughs> no, no, no. Incredible. <laughs> Amazing that the leader thrower finally gets his chance now. <laughs> to shine. His time is to shine, you know. Finally, he touches the pitch, turn 16, getting ready. Joe Montana style, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. He couldn't get injured when he's on the bench, so now he's got him guaranteed. He's guaranteed got a reroll for overtime. Of course, I mean, he could have just not used the reroll. <laughs> he could have induced a whole reroll for the whole game for 100k and a bave. Yeah. Instead of that player. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger saying. <laughs> Can't have that. It's some big copyright in it. Can't have any 
anybody else's uh, stuff like that. I'm not going to have any. That's why I got rid of all my sound effects that were really cool, you know, like Greed is Good and Game Over and all those kind of things that I have. Um, so there you go. There you go. I think it was for comedy purposes and very short, you know, you were allowed to have some lines or something like that from books, movies and all that, but the fair use uh, thing. Oh, yeah, I mean, YouTube and all that, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I, like, I think it's safer, it's safer to just yeah. not do anything. Because, yeah, yeah, Fumble had to stop using... Ooh, that's got to hurt. That's what I thought. Well... The let's get ready to rumble line is trademark and made the gay the guy that uh, south saw you know before fights and all that like 300 million or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's insane like, how many millions he's oh, got oh, oh, oh is it even possible you know to just trademark a line you know what's the next you know trademarking you know hello how are you or something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that was top lawyers top lawyers <laughs> 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 yeah, his brother's probably trademark. It's time. I had its time as well, and then uh, and then I had to get rid of that because I thought his brother's probably trademark that. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. That was nice to get an extra block. Not that it achieved anything. Cause bloody horse. Trademark this stops now. A smash hit. <laughs> oh, another gun. Another guy gone. I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> the most fun thing you've ever heard. There you go. There you go. There you go, Pedro. Yeah, do you like that? Good evening, you wrestler. So what can I do for you? <laughs> and now, you know, if you just uh, break armor every single uh, block, so the game is easy again. Yeah, it's pretty easy when you break, when you're constantly breaking every. He's gonna foul as well. Loves a foul, this lad. Oh, yeah, I mean, you have the dirty player there. You need to foul. <laughs> Move the ball? Nah, no point. <laughs> Fuck the ball. <laughs> hey, he's got him. With dirty player. <laughs> now he'll move the ball back. He has got plenty of turns. He's not going to get in trouble before when, when Mankis had like about five players on the pitch. This time he's staying oh, back until he's only got three left. <laughs> <laughs> that was a brutal couple turns for monkeys. It was, yeah. Yeah, down to seven now. Looking very rough. I mean, it's now is the kind of game you know you're looking at. What happened here? How, how I reached this point? <laughs> why? Why this is happening? You know. Oh well, here he's putting the, he's putting the pressure on. And good job he did move back those squares because otherwise you would have had the ball based. But of course he, he can just run past him into a cage. Will he bother? Who knows? <laughs> cage. <laughs> well, only because there are players around already. <laughs> Come on, Pylong. <laughs> Come on, Pylong. Oh, disgrace. <laughs> oh, he's got the guard on the opposite cage corners to stop a dive. Love to see it. Get another hit here, he doesn't have to fully cage, does he? He can just, he can just move him around for an extra punch. And well, now we can get some uh, dirty player and dirty player action. Oh, he is going to fully cage, incredible. I don't believe it. I thought you would have, uh, you know, just moved this guy to there and then punch, and then he still got, he just still had like, you know, an extended cage. Quite like that. Are we going to see the cage dive? We yes. Are. 
Well, it's not like there is many more options anyway, so... Oh, and he fails, and he's stunned, and now it's looking bleak, isn't it? But yeah, that's the thing, if he hadn't gone for that, then it's looking terrible next turn anyway, isn't it? So... Yeah, 50... 50, 150, 150k each corner, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so useful, the leader, you know, saying encouraging words to him, you know, you can do it, come on. <laughs> Kick him in his hairy balls. Yeah, let's not forget that leader is supposed to be in game, you know, the kind of charismatic player that all other players respect and follow their advice. This is some random merc that just pop in, you know, from the pub. <laughs> Hey, it could, it could be like Kurt Warner, couldn't it? You know, that kind of guy. Yeah. Come in and inspire people, that's fair enough. <laughs> oh, doing the Dauntless hit. I think uh, this is going to be over soon. Yeah. I mean, it's so hard, isn't it? I don't know what you can do. Roll sixes. Yeah, just dodging. In, in a, a massive amount of sixes. Or just blitz the leader guy just because, you know, to try to prove <laughs> a point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he could have gone uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, couldn't he? And he could have, uh, he could have 2D'd the ball. Crazily. I could just. Gone there, so he only three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he could have gone in like that way. He could have. He, he had two dice in the ball. Okay, why he six he, plus three plus? But he had it. Why? He needs not the scoring. Oof. He's gone for SPPs. Oh, the three dice. But he's on the, that player already level. He's on fifty-two SPP. That's totally pointless. <laughs> That's the no way he's gonna make. <laughs> 14 cars in the rest of the full tournament. Full Norse, full Norse. He went full Norse, regret nothing. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting to watch, very entertaining. <laughs> and there you go. No respect for the most basic laws of Blood Bowl or anything like that. Just Norse your way around and that's safe. <laughs> Trust in Odin. Odin is watching. <laughs> Absolutely disgustorous. Well, there you go. Rip man case. That was, uh, that was a pretty nice chaos team as well, wasn't it? But... Uh... Just absolutely blown up by the Norse. 18 AV breaks to 30. <laughs> 30, 30 AV breaks. Oh, he up to 59. Unbelievable. 59 blocks, 30 AV breaks. So, yeah, that's a lot of stuff that happened there. Yeah, I mean, to be, to be fair, there's a lot of piles and there was loads of fouls and there were so many fouls. Holy moly. Um, but, yeah, look, congrats to Binkit. He, he found a way. He found a way to win, didn't he? Well... Uh, you know, all credit to him. And there you go, the Norse go to the round of 16. Yeah, incredible. Commiserations, man kids. Thank you very much for the co cast, Fami. Absolutely glorious. Oh, pleasure always. to be here. Amazing stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.